Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the most common used string methods in JavaScript. These methods can be used to manipulate strings in a variety of ways such as concatenating them, getting or setting characters, finding the index of characters and more. If you're new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Oh. Welcome to Bit Science. Today we will proceed with more static methods in string JavaScript. So first JavaScript method is concat. If you have heard about concatenation, concatenation provides combining two or more strings. Okay. How to do that? We write two string. You can write by constant or any let or where. So if you have two string, if you want to concatenate, so you can just write str one dot concat and the parameter. So it will contain multiple parameters. It, so right now I have given one parameter. If you execute, you will get a value which is hello world. So what if if you want to add more parameters? Just let's say you have added addition space just before. Between this str. String concatenation happen to string or more multiple of two string. Let's see more example on static string methods. So we have char add. So char add provides the char value present at the specific index. So if you have a string or a paragraph or any a long string, you can find the position of the character present in that paragraph. So let's say I am writing a Sentence called this one. A quick brown frog so jumps over to the lazy rock. So it it is a long text. If I want to find some index, means in string it starts from zero. So T is on zero position, H is on first position, E is on third position, and there is a space. The space is also at fourth uh, third position. So zero, one, two, three. So this will go continue until the end of. So dot also will be a character in string. So what if so I want to get the index of fourth position from this string? So I have kept a fourth value in in index, and we'll use this caret method to find the index. This is templating way to write. And if I add index, so this is dollar because I want to get the value of index. I'm want to find the index so index is 4 so what would be the result 0 1 2 3 4 so q should be the result if i try so it says index at 4 is q so this tells that the caret works on particular index we will example same i want to find the index of that food what i have given same index, I want to understand the characters. What is the character presentation of this? The character code at 116, 113 is equal to Q. Uh, why? Because I have used character code at index 1. So that Q value is 140 and is equals to, I am also understanding by using character code what is there. So that is Q. So I am using both in one sentence. Next example. We have another method called index of. So index of understand the position of the character value present in the given string. So this is also same like character, but if you want to find out the index, the num, uh, the position of that. So we understood by position like 0, 1, 2, 3. Same way I want to uh, decode what is the value at A, which what is the position of that A. So that is why using index. I have a paragraph for it. If I want to search the term dog, so I will write a uh, value, I will put dog. This is my searchable term and I want to find the index of that. So I will again write a statement called index of first. This is my variable. I am, this is the paragraph writing, adding the method index of the search. So I want to form found what is the position of that dog 
the first position of that stock. Okay, so this doesn't mean that you will get DOG full uh, value, but you will get the position, the first, the initial part of that where it is being searched. So if I run, I guess I have to write a console statement. Okay, if I execute, this would be the result. The index of the first dog. So dog is consisted one after the this. This is the first dog it has appeared. So this is at 40 index. If we count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 2, 3, 18, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 40. So that is correct. The dog is at the 40 positions. See the another example. If you want to find the last index. So this is the first index. What if the dog in this paragraph I have another dog also. So this is on the second position. Maybe there will be uh, multiple dogs as well. So what if I want to find the last dog appeared in the center. So which is this position. Right. After that, there is no dog. So for that also we have another method called last index of. It provides the position of character value present in the given statement. This is index, last index of, this is index of. Okay. If I run this example, I will get 52. After dog, uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, there is space, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So that is also correct. So dog is at 52 position. This is another example which is substring. By name itself, a string. Substring. You want to find or fetch some part of the given string. So, I'm taking a different example. I'm writing a str called Mozilla. Okay. And if I want to find, fetch the position, so you have to write like this: str dot substring beginning to end. Okay. So it says you have a start number and end number. So start will always be some zero position or you can take any number. So my answer would be zero one. So taking one O Z, right? O would be the first letter and up to three. So ending uh, number. So that is zero one two three. So up to three number I should be able to get. So here this result you will get O Z only, not I. Why it is like that? Because you are taking from zero position, but the end is uh, excluded in this example. So always symbol substring is always take from beginning that is included and the last one is excluded. Okay, let's see a more example around this one. So see this statement. I'm taking two. I don't have any ending statement. So what will happen in this case? So zero, one, two. So it should start with Z, right? And I have not given end statement. So what would be the reason? Let's see. If you have not given any end statement, then you will get the whole word up to the end of that string. So which is the law. Next method, slice. Slice is a new word. Slice itself means to slice something. You want to cut something. So it is used to fetch the part of a given string. It allows us to assign positive as well as negative index. So this is interesting. Also, you have to keep in mind, we can play with negative value as well. Sentence, there's a sentence and this is so 31. Somewhere dog was 40, 39 and 38, 37, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From T, the, the lazy dog would would be the slice element. If I if you execute this, you will get the lazy dog. So other part uh, before the 30 was a letter that is omitted and the sliced the remaining part is the result. Okay, let's see more example uh, around this slice. Say this slice, I'm slicing port to 90. Up to this would be sliced. So this means I am Taking out that slice part, this that part M that is my output. So slice is always written the sliced part. Okay, let's play with some negative value. So this is slice 
minus 4. So, minus 4 will, what will it do? It starts with something negative. So, after 0 position, I don't, I cannot go beyond. So, what I will do? It will go to back. So, after 0, minus 1 is point minus 2, this g, 2, 3. So, d o g would, would, would be the result. Right? Let's play more with negative value. See the example. Try to answer this. Minus 9 to 9 is minus 1. This is not going positive direction. This is going negative direction. So you have to go back. You have to go backward. So pun L. You have to go space E T E H T. So this minus would be. Again it will uh, understand the index of that value. Minus 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5. So, up to space, you will get. So, lazy would be the answer. Lazy, yeah. Another method which is split. So, if you have a string and if you want to split in two parts, depending on the daily method. So, I have a word. Uh, let's say, what can be anything. So, I, let's say I'm taking the sentence, this quick transport. I want to divide everything in Y space. So, how many space we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, I have 8 spaces. So, I will con this will contain more 9 string of array. So, how to write that? If you write sentence dot split, you will get and you have to use this delimiter. I am using space to delimit. So, this word will become an array. So, how to get this array? So, if you just console this value, uh, it is a list of array which is just showing like this. The first is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine array. So, dot also becomes that part of that because after that there is no sentence discontinued. So, up to so this split is very important. There will be many problem statements where you will Maybe use the split statement by comma, adding comma, by hyphen. There are many possibilities. So change lowercase. There, this if you want to uh, change lowercase, just add lowercase to lower. That is the method. It will change to so t. If you see that is been changed to lowercase. So same you can apply with to upper. Okay. So this everything will be convert to uppercase alphabet. So, this only work with string and uh, see this method called to local uppercase. So, what is local here? So, this converts to upper uppercase but on basis of host, the current local. So, what is host here? So, this works when, when you are working with different country, region, different languages. So that becomes some challenges. English and the US. So, US is the region. Okay. I want to change it to on the low uppercase. So what will happen? It will just generate how it works. Same without uh, no local, it will also it will change to everything in uppercase. So let's see another example which is Turkish and local. So this is TR. If you add TR instead of USA or India, there are many, but TR has some uh, exception. So just observe this I. This I is being changed. So, some language has some expected behavior that I or some G or it will have some uh, different uh, consonant or different symbol. So, that is the works for local uppercase. Okay. Same thing you can also check with uh, two, lo two lowercase. You might not be see that same result in Turkish will not have the same. It will all always change the same behavior. So, what so it is has not changed technology it will be same you will see few of the example where local will have different symbols in there so generally this method returns the same result as lower case method i will for some locals where language conflict with regular unicode case wrapping occurs that's all for this video i hope you learned something from this video if so Feel free to explore the channel and check out some of our other interesting content. My name is Atit Dhrinath.
and this has been bit science i will see you again soon for the next video thank you for watching